This video is about MPU6050, which is both accelerometer and gyro. And in this video I will not focus on how to connect it to the Raspi, but uh, rather on what the values in the accelerometer and the gyroscope mean. Um, this module is connected to the I2C bus, like you see the ground here goes to ground um, the red goes to the three the, the voltage supply goes to 3.3 volt and then you have yeah you have the data line on the sec second pin and the clock line on the third pin uh, seen from the 3.3 volt uh, so four pins and the thing works now let's take a look. I will hold it this way. And in the accelerometer values I get uh, a Z value of 1 and the other values tend to 0. This is um, how I'm holding the thing. Maybe so when I turn it this way, um, I get a value of minus 1 in the y-axis and 0 in the uh, z-axis. The same thing I can do with this. And there I get a 1 in the x-axis. So I can uh, look in which position the thing is laying and I can also create values greater than 1 like 2 uh, for instance which means I'm really accelerating so like uh, things like shaking the thing um, yeah now to the gyro um, I am now rotating the thing and you see in the x-axis of the gyro I get values. When I'm turning it this way I get values. And on the x-axis. On the y-axis I get values when I turn it this way. And on the z-axis this was x, this was y, and the z-axis is around this. So this way I can build things like robots that self-balance, um, I can create um, planes with that, I can build rockets, all these sort of things. And this uh, sensor really helps me to stabilize flight or anything else that has to do with positioning and with rotation and yeah. Um, that's it for today. Um, I added a link in the video description that shows you the tutorial for this thing. And I also used the code from the tutorial. And in one of my next videos I will create fancy things with this. Um, especially I w will build a two-legged robot that can balance itself. Let's see if I can do it with the precision uh, that it does not fall. Okay, that's it for today.